So, what is going on, YouTube? This is Sam from Team Samurai X1 here, and today, guys, some crazy massive news has just recently dropped on YGO organization and it's in regards to the new Yu-Gi-Oh anime and the new summoning like, mechanic that we'll be getting within the near future in Code of the Duelist. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and in this video I'll be explaining to you guys what link summoning is and how to link summoning after I cover you guys all the information given on his YGO Pro website. Uh, and so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So first we got Fusion Summoning and then we got, you know, Synchro Summoning, XC Summoning. If that wasn't difficult enough, we got Pendulum Summoning, which is one of the most broken summoning mechanics that Yu-Gi-Oh has ever created and after that now we got Link Summon okay so Konami realized that they effed up so hard on Pendulum Summon mechanic because of how broken it is they literally need to nerf that Pendulum type mechanic and they make it into Link Summoning now so they can balance out the game and with this new uh, Link Summon uh, the game is definitely gonna be slowed down a little bit but the game is still gonna be playable and you know since I love Yu-Gi-Oh so much I'm not gonna quit the game because we got it because we get a new game mechanic Are you guys crazy I'll be still playing the game it doesn't matter how many game mechanics that they have i'll still be playing this game no matter what so without further ado let's get started with this video so let's go off with the v jump new rules introducing link summoning and changes to the dueling field okay as well as pendulum summons okay they literally need me to point out the pendulum summons because of how you know broken it is and they're trying to fix it with this link summoning mechanic thing so without further ado let's get started so let's get off with the example card of the link monster we got a decode talker okay so decode talker is right here it looks really amazing kind of looks like spark man as you guys can see by the difference of uh, the way it looks right now there is no levels okay there's no defense instead of the defense it says links there's only attack which is 2300 and these right how are link uh, indicators or link marker that they call them right here and I'll explain to you guys those as we go down through the article but you know it's pretty cool your card artwork looks amazing and there's gonna be a lot of changes in Yu-Gi-Oh especially when this new arch type uh, or new game mechanic is gonna be coming out so let's get started so we got decode talker let's talk about the effect right now so decode talker dark cyber type link effect monster link 3 attack 20 300 materials two or more effect monsters this card gains 500 attack for each monster linked to it and when an opponent card affects targets a card you control is activated you contribute one of your monsters linked to this card and negate the activation if you do destroy it and the further information following this link monster is that look at those distinctive link markers so the link markers what i was talking about is uh these things right here the link markers right here and these are really important because these link markers indicates that you can special summon monsters from the extra deck which is really important in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. of course specialing summoning uh, monsters from the extra deck is how we usually win games nowadays and then uh now i'm gonna go through you guys on there's some of the ways that you guys can link summon okay and i'll basically put it on the screen on, on some of the way you guys can link summon so basically you can send materials to the green or equal to the link number okay uh for example this is a link number three so you can basically send materials that requires a link three summon and i'll explain to you guys that uh, in a sec right now so basically what you can do is that you can send materials to the green or equal to the link number you can link summon something from your extra deck by sending the same number of monsters that meet the material requirements written in the card effect box whose total number e equals to the link number from the field to the graveyard and decrease materials by using link monsters link monsters are treated as the same number of materials as its link number however to use them you must match the requirement written on the cards and if in the case of you know uh what is it uh decode talker you can either use three effect monsters to basically summon this card so you have three monsters in the field let's say you summon three burning abyss monster okay you send those cards to the graveyard you summon a link uh, monster from your extra deck and that's how you can special summon a uh, decode talker from your extra deck and you also got another way where you can use one link to effect monster so you know how this is a link three right here this is a link three you can use one link to monster or and one effect monster to bring it out uh you know uh, decode talker which is really really cool so basically let's say that you have a link to monster you're gonna be uh you know summoning that monster by sending two effect monsters to the graveyard let's say you're gonna be summoning a link five monster you're gonna be sending five monsters to the graveyard to summon that five uh you know that that link five monster so you guys can basically understand the basic of link summoning so far so that's pretty much it so it's pretty cool you know having new summoning mechanics in the game is actually pretty awesome because uh there's gonna be a lot of more diversity in the game and that way that we can just be more creative with the decks that we're playing and things like that which is very awesome Okay, and then uh, now is that the zones pointed to each by the link markers and the cards in them will be affected by the link monster and this will create new strategies and I'll ex further explain this as we progress down and uh, they have no defense of course and link monsters have no defense points and they have a special characteristics of being unable to change their battle positions or turning into a defensive position by effects. Okay, and uh, and now you the newly created extra monster zone and now in the, you know, the game of Yu-Gi-Oh we have an 
new extra deck as well. As you guys can see right here, this is our standard field right here. You know, you know, five uh, monster zones right here. You know, our back row right here, and we also uh, get uh, you know the field zone right here, and also the graveyard, the banished pile, the graveyard, and everything. But now, as you guys can see, by the major difference of this video is that well, this playing field is that the pendulum scales are moved to your spell and trap card zone, which is really it's that's how, that's crazy. Uh, that's really crazy. So if they're you bring, you know, this literally hurts metaphors so much because sometimes they actually need to use their uh, their back rows to set their stuff. But now if you activate pendulum scales, uh, pendulum scales are treated technically in the spawn trap card zone. So if you use two, uh, you know, uh, what is it called? Two scales in your spawn trap card zone. You only have three more slots left for your back row, which is absolutely crazy. Okay, and uh, I'll further explain that as I progress down, of course, and. Um, and you, when the duel begins, neither uh, extra uh, monster zone is considered to belong to a specific player. When a pl uh, when a player special summons a monster to one of them, that zone becomes treated as part of the player's field, and the other becomes treated as one of the other player's field. The tactic of the duel will change drastically depending on who can grab the extra monster zone first. An extra deck monster can only be special summoned to the extra monster zone, but if you summon a link monster to one of the extra deck monster zone first, you can utilize to its max potential. So what this means is that right here, okay, you can only special one extra deck monster, okay? And you only have one zone to special summon the extra deck monster, which is the extra deck zone right here that I'm circling for you guys right now. So it is the zone that you'll be special summoning the extra deck monster in. And as you can see by the link indicators or link markers right here, these two spots right here will be used uh, for extra deck, uh, you know, summoning because of the link indicators that indicates that you can special summon extra deck monsters to these zones right here, which is very, very, very awesome. So that's what's really good about the new mechanic. It basically balances all the game and it slows on the game uh, by a ton, which is uh, okay, you know what I mean? So that means that you basically get less OTK, but basically now it's going to be whoever first gets their link monster basically have a way more advantage than your opponent. Uh, so definitely going first. If you want to just bust out that link monster as soon as possible, it gives you access uh, to basically special summon monster for the extra deck, uh, which is really, really awesome. Uh, so that's uh, basically covering that. Extra deck monsters like Fusion Synchro and Link cannot be summoned to the main monster zone. Beware. Okay, guys? So right here is the main monster monster zone. Well, the only way you can special summon extra deck monsters is through the extra deck zone, which we only have one copy of, and that's putting up the link summoning. You want to put link summoning in your uh, extra deck zone, so that way that you're enabling yourself to special summon more monsters in your main uh, in your main monster zone, so that means you're giving access to your extra deck and things like that if you first link summon. So it's really important to get, you know, into your link summoning as fast as possible. And what has been the monster zone up to now is now the main monster zone. Now we got the extra deck zone and the main monster zone. The Pendulum Zone is on the left and right of the Spawn Trap Card Zone. You can use it as a normal Spawn Trap Card Zone, but if you put scales in there, you're basically taking out two of the five Spawn Trap Cards that you're able to set in your Pendulum Zone. So that means that if you Pendulum, if you activate scales, you only basically have access to three Spawn Trap Card Zone, which is, uh, it sucks, okay, if you're a Pendulum player. Although Extra Deck Monsters can only be spawned by the Extra Deck normally, if you have a Link Monster in your Extra Monster Zone, the zones pointed out by their Link Markers can be used to summon Extra Deck Monster. So if you get a Link a Monster quickly, you can bring out Fusion, Synchros, XEs, and all that uh, quicker, which is really, really cool. Uh, so basically, the faster you get out your Link Summoning, okay, with your indicators right here, uh, once, the, yeah, with the indicators right here, the faster you can get your extra deck monsters out. Uh, so let's say that you have these two uh, zones available, you're able to basically special summon two extra deck monsters if you can in these zones right here, which is pretty awesome. Okay, so these are the only indicated zones that you're able to special summon if you have a, a decode talker in your extra deck zone. Okay, and it just basically balances out the game by a ton. And by the way, guys, uh, you know, looking at this game mechanic already, you can still pendulum summon five monsters from your hand. But if you have cards in your extra deck, you're only going to be able to pendulum summon one monster uh, uh, unless you already got you know a link uh, monster in the extra deck zone that enables you to special summon more monsters from your extra deck. Uh, so that way, that it balances out the pendulum mechanic so much more. Okay, guys. So with the information given on the YGO organization website and all the information that I read to you guys, here is what I can sum up for you guys on how to link summon. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this aspect of the video. And before I get started with the how to link summon, I want to give a huge shout out goes to this guy named Gabriel. He was in the Zodiac uh, Duelist group and uh, he was basically made a video tutorial on how uh, to link summon on the Zodiac uh, Facebook group. So if you guys have uh, Facebook, make sure you guys join the Zodiac Duelist group so you guys can check, definitely check out that video. Without further ado, let's get started guys. As you guys can see with the new 
monster zone. We got you know you know the new extra deck monster zone, which is right here. Is where you're you're only gonna be placing the extra deck monster. And now of course you got you know your zones right here. Your pendulum zones are now in your spawn trap card zone, which is really important as well. And here we go. Here is how you link summon. Okay. So first you wanna get. Let's say this is your hand. Like this hand is actually really broken to link summon. So what you're gonna do is of course you wanna summon Terror Top. Uh, you know what I mean. You activate Terror Top's effect. You search target Tom Borg. Okay. So you summon Terror Top. You search target Tom Borg. And then you special summon target Tom Borg. At this point, what you, what you what you can do is you can overlay these two. The special summon Invoker, but Invoker will be will be going right here, and that and you don't want to do that because uh, that way that you can only special summon one extra deck monster anyway. So you don't you do, you don't want to automatically go into Invoker right here. So now at this point, you special summon target Tom Borg, and now since you got a Thorough Blade in hand. Okay, you want to normal summon Thorough Blade, and since now you got three effects monsters on the field, you can basically send all three of these guys to the graveyard to link summon into, of course, a uh, decode talker. Uh, so you send these three cards to the grave. Sorry, guys, if this is a little bit messy, so hopefully you guys can understand. Send these guys to the graveyard to special summon, of course, decode talker right here in your extra deck zone. As you can see with decode's uh, talker, uh, you know, uh, link indicator or link marker right here, you can special summon extra deck monsters in these zones right here, which is really awesome now. So that means that you're, you're, in, you're enabling yourself to have access into the extra deck now and that's why it's really important for the link indicators uh you know to indicate that you're able to special summon from uh, the extra deck in your main monster zone and now this point is that since you got barrage which is like the most broken card in the game okay so this is definitely gonna be slowing down zodiacs zodiacs can't basically do what what they do before so you can go barrage barrage pop itself uh to the graveyard to special summon of course the rat from the deck and here is your rat right here and then you basically do your standard shenanigans combo plays and you know you go into wild bow detach blah 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 you go wild bow in the zone right here you detach uh, etc and then your any board should just definitely be a dryden right here or dryden on the board with a dicasto emerald uh on the uh in your other extra deck zone right here uh with of course your two rat materials uh which is really uh also important to know so you also obviously have uh you know a war bow uh or broad bow under the dryden and of course um the zodiac uh uh you know uh, what is it? The uh, rat under the Gasol Emerald. So these two cards would definitely be used as your extra deck uh, enabler spot. So that's really good to know. And it's you guys can already see that basically this with this new game mechanic, it literally slows the game down by a ton. So that way that it doesn't you know start OTKs. But now since with the link mechanic, it's really important to get out the link monsters as fast as possible. There's also two link zones right here, and these link zones can be uh, used by both players, but only each player will be able to use one link zone. Uh, you know of course and uh yeah so once you basically get the link monster out you basically enable yourself to special summon link monsters if you get another link monster you can basically summon another link monster over here if uh, the indicator arrow shows that it's pointing down and then if you this uh, you know the indicator of the link monster here has arrows pointed to the side you can basically special summon basically extra deck monsters to those zones uh, which is really really awesome so that's basically the basics of a uh, link summoning mechanic and definitely when we get more information newer cards released on the link summoning mechanic i'll be making video more videos like these teaching you guys on how to link summon and so we hope you guys enjoyed this video overall let me know what you guys think about this new summoning mechanic i don't even know if this uh video that i did was right i, I, I don't even know if this process or this step was right but uh this is based off the information that was given on the ygo pro organization website so just bear with me guys if you guys have any other ideas on how to link summon and things like that please leave it in the comment section below and i'll be sure to read your comments and basically hopefully make a video within the future on how to make more link summoning mechanic work and yeah that's pretty much it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching and overall what do i think about this link summoning mechanic doesn't matter i'll still be playing Yu-Gi-Oh. i will not quit Yu-Gi-Oh. i love this game you know to death you know i have a passion for playing Yu-Gi-Oh. it's my number one hobby and you know uh, you know what i mean i'm not gonna stop playing the game because we got a new game mechanic everybody says they're gonna stop playing the game once pendulum was here when pendulum dropped no one quit the game not barely anybody quit the game i know a lot of people that quit the game but you know there's the game is still pretty big once pendulum summoning thing and you know you know what we just basically need more information from konami on how to basically properly use this mechanic and then people will understand oh my god this this mechanic actually might be good for the game this mechanic actually might fix some of the problems that we have right now so you know with the release of this new new mechanic and the information that we've given so far so far guys the mechanic looks fine you know it just balances out the game it just slows down the game by a bit and uh yeah guys if you guys want to see more videos like these make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button that'll be really amazing and this is sam from team sam sam signing out all right guys peace